Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, there's a new video here, and it's a bit different than usual, because this is, first of all, not a reaction video. Second of all, I'm actually filming this on my MacBook right now, because I'm at my new house, and I forgot to bring my camera. I'm an idiot, I know. Oh, I keep looking at myself, I'm not supposed to do that, I guess. The reason for this video, as many of you already know, I went to Comic-Con in Copenhagen. And I was not the only one there. Obviously. Thanks for saving me, obvious Elka. We went to Copenhagen because Alicia went to Copenhagen. So I'm gonna share with you guys my experience uh, in Copenhagen at Comic-Con, meeting Alicia and meeting so many of you guys. Like, I've met so many people, it's like insane. Like I was not expecting to like meet that many people who actually knew me somehow from Twitter or from YouTube or even from Tumblr sometimes. Like I kind of forgot I even had a Tumblr, but thanks for reminding me. Literally, it was the best weekend of my life. I hope this video will be kind of structured. I'm not a very structured person, so I'll just go by the day. So starting Friday, that's when we traveled and uh, we went to the, I, I traveled uh, with two girls, Imke and Luca. Uh, we went to Copenhagen, booked an hotel, and there we met up with Rachel and Louise, two British girls. We hung out pretty much the entire time with them. There were also these other girls from the UK, like I, I kind of only knew one of them, uh, her name's Sophie and she came with like a whole bunch of friends and like girl from like Finland. So then Saturday was the day and I think we were at the convention at like 9am and there were, was already a line of like at least like 300 people just waiting in line to see Alicia basically. Once we got inside it was already insane the line. We were well, not really at the back of the line, but we weren't in the front either. Oh, clear. We were somewhere in the middle. So then, finally, the moment came that Alicia came out. Okay, wait, that sounds wrong. She did not like come out, guys. She, she walked in. The first thing that went on my, in my mind when I first saw her was, holy fucking hell, she's so tiny. Which is probably kind of exaggerated because she's not even that tiny. I think she's like, five seven ish i don't know what that is but you know coming from someone who's five ten i just thought like holy shit she's really tiny because i i knew that she would be smaller like shorter than i am but somehow somehow in my mind i kind of assumed that she'd be taller you know like she would have magically grown okay so she was already like signing, we were like fangirling over her, but we couldn't really see her because we were still in line to get tickets to see her. We already had photo tickets by the way, but she was doing her signing uh, before, so we were like getting signing tickets because, you know, we wanted to get our shit signed as well. Okay, and then next on, she went to do the photo op. Basically, when it was my turn and I was like walking up, I remember because I was like, like Luca was in front of me, so I was like filming Luca and then when it was my turn, I was still holding the camera, so I was like, look how, look at, take it, take it. And Alicia was like, what the fuck are you doing, girl? So I like ran, no, well, I didn't really run, but I was like, look how, fucking take the camera. So then finally, Luca took the camera. I was like, sorry, Alicia. And well, I hugged her. And guys, she's so tiny. I feel like you could like lift her up and run away with her if you wanted to. Anyway. So I hugged her and I was like, oh, it's so weird to meet you. I'll put the video here, you can, hopefully you can hear it. Like, honey, I want your face on a on a picture, you know? Like, I'm not here to like look at the backdrop. You know, the girl, she's like really smart, but sometimes she just lacks common sense, I guess. So then she was like doing this, and I like, I am such a fucking idiot, guys. I don't know what I was thinking, but for some reason, I just thought, I'm gonna do bunny ears. <laughs> So it basically turned out like this, like 
this. That was basically my first meeting with Alicia. She was like, ah, okay, bye. Then, <clears throat> I'm like taking far too long. Okay, then still the first day, still the first day, guys, still the first day. So then when we went to the signing, um, well, I got this thing signed, but like, like I said, Alicia lacks common sense, guys. Look, I'll show you guys where she put that autograph. Oh, you can't even see it. Like you literally, you, you can't see it if you don't know where it is. Cause she had like a gold marker, but it was kind of just brown. Let's just, it was brown guys. It wasn't gold, it was just brown. Like a shit color, but you know, it's on there. I'm fine with it. I gave her this shirt that said, um, I need my space. Uh, because, you know, I thought it was a funny joke, like, she's she's not really too keen on social media and she loves space. So I was like, I need my space, it's perfect. She can use it as, as like pajamas or something. I don't know. She can throw it out. She maybe she didn't even take it with her. I don't know. It's fine. It was only fifty dollars. No, I'm just kidding. It was really cheap. Sorry. No, it wasn't really cheap. I spent money on it. Okay. I'm a broke student. And then like the stupid asshole that I am asked her about the moth squad. Which I cannot pronounce, guys. I was like regretting it in my head, like, why am I saying this? Okay, good. Just keep talking, Elka. Just keep talking. You've started now. story about the mosque was like a really long story basically like a few of my friends and I started this squad it was really stupid it was the moth squad it was like an inside joke and Marnie somehow got involved because apparently she hates moth but yeah so then that had happened and I just left like I was like okay fuck I just asked her about that no but seriously Alicia was really sweet about everything I feel like she she really wanted to make everyone feel comfortable by just making jokes and just starting conversation she wouldn't just like sign something and be like bye okay so um i'm, 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 I'm still on the first day now i'm still on the first day so she did a q a and seriously guys that girl is so funny also that same day because we had one spare photo op ticket me and my two dutch friends in can luca so we thought we'd get a group photo and i think it was the gr first like group photo she did because she looked really confused like why is there so many of you but she was like oh you can do this too that's such a smart idea like that's not just common sense either so that was pretty much the first day and okay because the first day everything was crazy with like the photo tickets and signing tickets the lines were so crazy long so we decided okay this sign we're gonna be there at 8 a.m but guys what the fuck? The line was like insane on Sunday. It was like four times as big as the line for Saturday. We actually didn't get tickets. It sucked. Because I really wanted another signing ticket. Like I didn't like need another photo because I already had like one solo photo and one group photo with my friends. And all of a sudden an angel appeared and there was like this girl was just like I know you from Twitter you can have this if you want like what guys she she gave me like a signing ticket 
that was so incredibly nice and I was like overwhelmed. I was like, oh, please can I hug you? Was like, ah, ah. So I was like in the line to meet Alicia again and I walked up to her, my turn. And guys, what happened then, it's the, probably the best thing that happened the whole weekend for me personally. What? She actually knew my name? But of course I had, I had to like embarrass myself further by saying Yeah, you actually used to follow me on Twitter and I was like myself a bit too hard guys ignore the redness that is happening over here but it wasn't awkward gratefully it wasn't a big deal so yeah it was like, no big deal you know Alicia knows who I am apparently so you can imagine that it was already the best weekend of my life basically <laughs> uh, but honestly my friends like the people I knew from the UK and my Dutchies my Dutch hosts um, made it so much better and on top of that, miraculously, people actually stopped me as well and were like, you're Elka, right? And wanted to take like, pictures with me. I was like super overwhelmed because in my eyes, I'm just like an idiot who just makes random videos on, on YouTube, like reaction videos. Like they're not that interesting guys. Like what are you doing? That was, that only made the whole experience like more awesome. It was so amazing. Thanks guys, thank you so much for the support, like, what the hell? You know, then we also went to the last Q&A of Alicia on the second day and I even got to ask her a question. Hi, I'm Elga uh, and I was wondering, um, if Lysa hadn't died, what more would you have wanted to see for her character? Maybe for her and Lysa, or for her and Mark? <laughs> it would probably be cool to see like a, like, a fall from power or something and then to start like a, a coup and then regain power, I don't know. Sounds fun, sounds great. <laughs> what about uh, for her and Bark? Oh, that's all up to you guys, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. All of us were already exhausted after the weekend, so we you can't imagine how Alicia must have felt. Uh, but she was really professional. She met everyone she uh, finished the line and she had like the biggest smile on her face the entire time she was so sweet and i feel like she really enjoyed herself despite probably being really jet lagged the entire weekend it must have been really exhausting but i think she really enjoyed it i feel like she will do more conventions in the future so we have that to look forward to hopefully so then she finally left and my friend like thanked her for like making it the best weekend ever and Alicia was like thank you and I like embarrassingly shouted like maybe meet again and you know chaos the entire weekend was chaos basically but so she left and that was the last time we saw her <laughs> then we flew home and once I was on my own again I, I was like on the train home and I was just thinking this was the best weekend of my life and I can't wait to do something similar like it again so gratefully I have Dortmund to look forward to where uh, Eliza is gonna go um, please don't cancel Eliza please don't and I'm really hoping that my friends from the UK are gonna fly over there as well I just miss them so much already yeah I probably left some things out I don't know I I'm not great at like remembering stuff, but I really wanted to do this video to share it with you guys and for me to look back on because it's like a diary of what happened this weekend. 
so thank you guys so much for watching and for those of you who I met at Copenhagen let me just say that it was the best experience of my life and you definitely were like part of the reason for it so thank you guys and I, I hope to meet you guys again may we meet again guys may we meet again <laughs>